Hi, welcome. Um, in this video, I'm going to go through problem 10, and there should not be much to this. Okay, so um, this problem says the integral from 1 to 4 of t to the negative 3 halves dt. Okay, so um, this is saying uh, first we should find the antiderivative of that and evaluate it on 1 and 4, and of course it's saying the area under the, that curve also, the area under this curve, right? Okay, fine. Um, we know what it means, but let's find the integral. So we know that to find the antiderivative of this, uh, we add 1 to the power and then divide by whatever that new power would be. So we divide by negative 3 halves plus 1. Okay. And we, of course, we evaluate at 1 and 4. And this is like a pretty ugly expression right now, so let's work that out. So first, the exponent on t should be negative 3 halves plus 1, so that's negative a half. So that's t to the negative 1 half, I shouldn't show you how to do that, divided by, and likewise, that should be together, negative 3 halves plus 1 should be negative a half. So um, we're really doing that evaluated at 1 and 4, we could reduce this some more, which is, we clearly see that dividing by negative 1 half is the same as multiplying by negative 2, so we can write negative 2 t to the negative 1 half. It's a lot of negatives to keep it confusing and interesting, right? So 1 to 4. Got it. Next, we could write that as negative 2 divided by um, square root of t. Because that's what t to, well, first let me do this in two steps. First, we can make the exponent positive by putting it in the denominator, right? So 1 to 4. And then we know uh, to the 1 half power means square root of um, whatever it is that is being put to the 1 half power. So we know that this means negative 2 over root t and then it's evaluated at 1 and 4. And we know how to do this also. So that's plug in 4, so it's negative 2 over root 4. And then subtract, plugging in 1, so negative 2 over root 1. Okay, so this is going to say negative 2 over root 4 is 2, and then minus a negative 2 over root 1 is 1. So this is negative 1 plus 2 or positive one, which is answer choice E. All right, cool. Um, I hope that was easy to follow. Take care.